Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Math Channel and now I'm going to go to question number three from the International A-Level at Excel Pure Mathematics P2 um, June 2021 exam paper. Uh, number three is all about proofs and for question three part one it says prove that for all single digit prime numbers P, P cubed plus P is a multiple of 10. Now this is a very clear example of something which is called proof by exhaustion okay because there is just a very few number okay a very limited number of single digit prime numbers so the first prime number is two and then you have three and then you have five then you have seven okay those are the only single digit prime numbers that exist so all we have to do is to check to see if these actually uh, make this statement true and if they all do then we have proved this statement okay so let's try when p equals 2 we've got p cubed plus p will become 2 cubed plus 2 which is 8 plus 2 which is 10 and we can see 10 is equal to 10 times 1 so it's a multiple of 10 okay and when p is equal to 3 you're going to have p cubed plus p will give you 3 cubed plus 3 which is 27 plus 3 which is 30 and we know that 30 is equal to 10 times 3 therefore this is also a multiple of 3 uh, sorry multiple of 10 and when p is equal to 5 you're going to have 5 you're going to have p cubed plus p is going to give you so p cubed plus p will give you 5 cubed plus 5. 5 cubed is 125 plus 5, which is 130. So 130 is like 10 times 13. So it's a multiple of 10 again. And when p equals 7, you're going to have p cubed plus p equals 7 cubed plus 7. And 7 cubed is 7 cubed is equal to 343 so you have 343 plus 7 which is 350 and 350 is the same as 35 times 10 or you can say 10 times 35 same thing 10 times 35 okay so we can see that each of these are multiples of 10 okay so we should make a little statement at the end okay all single digit prime numbers give a multiple of 10 or 10 sorry about my bad writing okay when substituted substituted into p cubed plus p therefore by exhaustion the statement is true the statement is true something like this just a little statement to show that we have exhausted all the possible possible values of single digit prime numbers okay two three five and seven and all of them gave a multiple of 10 remember one is not a prime number because a prime number is defined as a number which has exactly two factors one and itself and one only has one factor so it's not a prime number prime first prime number is two then you have three, then you have five, then you have seven. Nine is not a prime number as nine has a factor of one and three and nine. So it has to have exactly two factors, no more, no less. Okay, so there's the answer for three part one. It's a proof by what's called exhaustion. Now three part two it says show using algebra that for n is an element of the natural numbers, which means like the numbers you count with, like one, two, three, four, five, and so on that n cubed plus so n plus one all cubed minus n cubed is not a multiple of three so we've got to take things in terms of multiples of three now as we've got something being cubed all right so you have a bracket that's cubed we're going to end up with threes in 
the terms because um, when you expand something like this, you'll notice that it'll get threes. If you remember Pascal's triangle, okay, you have something like this. You have one, three, three, one. This tells you the coefficient of something, a binomials when you expand them. So anything to the power of zero will give you one. Anything to the power of one will give you, uh, you know, coefficients of one and one. Anything to the power of two, you will have, um, you know, one and then two and one. Like, for example, x squared plus 2x plus 1 and when you have 3 okay to the power of 3 you'll end up with like for example this will become n cubed 1 times n cubed plus 3 times n squared plus 3 times n plus 1 okay so you you'll see we'll have threes in there which is going to help us to show um, things in terms of multiples of 3 okay so that's why it's um, something we just can straight away expand this and we'll see that we'll end up with multiples of 3 um, and we can then check to see if it's going to be multiple of 3 or not. So if you expand this bracket, n plus 1 cubed minus n cubed. I mean, we could expand it the traditional way where you do n plus 1 times n plus 1 times n plus 1. And expand this, you'll have n plus 1 times n squared plus 2n plus 1. Then expand again, you have n, n cubed plus 2n squared plus n and then plus n squared plus 2n plus 1 n squared plus 2n plus 1, you have n cubed plus 3n squared um, plus 3n plus 1. Okay, but you can use this Pascal's triangle to do that as well. You can say, okay, you're going to have the n the, the n cubed term is going to be 1n cubed. So this will give you, uh, let's write it here, n cubed. And then the n squared term is going to be 3n squared. And the n term is going to be 3n because you have 1, 3, 3, 1. And then you're going to have 1 at the end. And then you have minus n cubed from that part. And then if you see n cubed minus n cubed is 0, so you're left with 3n squared plus 3n plus 1. Now, this is not a multiple of 3. Why? Because if we take 3 out as a factor of the first two terms, okay, you have 3 times n squared plus n plus 1. Now, this is a multiple of 3. This is a multiple of 3, for sure, because it's multiplied by 3. Okay, so this is a multiple of 3, but you add 1 to it, it's not going to be a multiple of 3. Okay, so this is 1 more than a multiple of 3. So you can say that 3 times n squared plus n plus 1 is 1 more, is 1 more than a multiple of 3. Therefore, it cannot be a multiple of 3. Therefore, cannot be a multiple of three okay so that's something we can uh, write down um to prove our little statement there okay so you could have expanded it in the traditional way of just expanding you know n plus one times n plus one and then multiply by n plus one again or you could think about pascal's triangle you're going to have this term cubed then three times this term squared then three times this term just to the power of uh, 1 and then 1 times this term to the power of 0 which gives you 1 okay so there's the answer for question number 3 and that's a pretty short question um, so other questions this is actually quite a new topic it just started when they started the new syllabus of P2 so there's not that many questions that you'll see in the uh, playlist because the old papers C, C1, 2 and the old um, C1s and, and C2s whatever never had this topic of proofs in them so um, this is something relatively new. So you'll find questions that are from this paper, the other questions from this particular paper, June 2021, P2. You'll find them in the playlist that should appear in this area at the end of the video. Uh, underneath it, you'll find questions that are related to proofs from P2. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. At the top of the page here, you'll find a card that should have been appearing from time to time, which takes you to another P2 paper. And in the description of the video, you'll see links to other papers p1 p3 p4 m1 s1 and also some igcse um, um, questions um, you'll see the links in the playlist thank you for watching and see you soon